So you you will have 10 minutes for the presentation. I will give you a two minute warning before the end. Okay. Are you ready? Good morning. We are students from Baptist Learning Child Secondary School. I'm Man Hu Ying, the Chen Ho Wai, Wang Chen Sing, Wang Yu Kei, and Lam Chi Hei. Today we are going to talk about trajectories in regular pentagon. We start with some special cases of the trajectories which can go back to the starting position. Then we define the emitting angle and the returning angle. In the figure, Alpha is the emitting angle which is made by the emitted wave and the normal to the starting side, while beta is the returning angle which is made by the light wave returned to the starting position and the normal. In order to find the trajectories which can go back to the starting point, we introduce the method of plane development now. A plane development is the process of successively reflecting the pentagons along one of the sides of the pentagon, forming a series of pentagons. For any trajectory in a regular pentagon, for example, the example in the right-hand side figure, we can obtain a series of pentagons with a straight line by reflecting the original pentagon along the side which the light wave reflects at. And the plane development will be the figure on the left hand side. Then we prove a proposition saying that a straight line on a plane development is a phallic trajectory if and only if it lies within the series of pentagon mm. and it does not pass through any vertex. By this proposition, we can obtain the trajectories which can go back to the starting position by constructing the plane development containing a straight line joining the starting position and the corresponding position at the last pentagon, and lying within the series of pentagon. Next, we start the study of the looping of the trajectories. We start with the simpler case, cases which the trajectories start from the midpoint of one side of the pentagon. Later on, we will extend our study to arbitrary starting position. We define two types of looping trajectories, which are single loop trajectory and double loop trajectory. Single loop trajectory is the trajectory which go back to the starting position only once before it goes into, into a loop. And the left hand side figure is an example of single loop trajectory. While double loop trajectory will go back twice but not once. We only define two types of looping trajectories because we prove an important theorem, saying that all the, all the looping trajectories are either single loop or double loop. If the returning angle is equal to the emitting angle, the trajectory will be a single loop trajectory. If the returning angle is not equal <coughs> to the emitting angle, the trajectory will be a double loop trajectory. Then we go into the study of single loop trajectories. By the law of reflection, we prove that a single loop trajectory must contain a line which is parallel to the starting side or passes through the vertex opposite to the starting side. For the first condition, we have case one. The trajectory contains a line which is parallel to CD and lies in within angle ABD. By the law of reflection, we prove that the trajectory in the right-hand side figure is the only possible trajectory which can go back to the starting side. Then we also have case two. The trajectory contains a line which is parallel to CD and line within trapezium BCDE. Also, we prove that there is only one possible trajectory which shown in the right-hand side figure. And for the second condition, we apply the method of plane development to the trajectories. We, in, we first introduce plane development of pattern 1A. We can see that 
from the figure, only the line joining the starting point to the points corresponding to vertex A in the first, fourth, sixth, and ninth pentagons lies within the series of pentagons. And the position of the vertex corresponding to vertex A is of period 10. So single loop trajectories in pattern 1A plane development must be of 10n plus 1, 10n plus 4, 10n plus 6, or 10n plus 9 pentagons, where n is non-negative integer. Similarly, we introduce pattern 1B and pattern 2, and we can find the corresponding single loop trajectories in these patterns. We can put n into the formal position, and the corresponding trajectory will be easily found. Also, as n is arbitrary, we prove that there exist inf infinitely many single loop trajectories, and the set of their path lengths has no upper bound. <coughs> After investigating these three patterns, we wonder whether all single loop trajectories lies in this pattern. And then we find a counter example showing that the answer is no. And by modifying these patterns, we can find infinitely many patterns of plane development which contain looping trajectories. Next, for the cases which the trajectories passes through more than one vertex, we prove that if the trajectories pass through any vertex other than the one opposite to the starting site, it must also pass through all the other four vertex. So the trajectory will pass through all the five vertex in the pentagon. And here is two examples. Then we go into the study of double loop trajectory. Double loop trajectory must sat satisfy the condition opposite to that of single loop trajectory. Similar to the method of plane development, we introduce pattern 1 and pattern 2. And we can find the corresponding double loop trajectories in these patterns. Also, similar to that of single loop trajectory, we prove that there exist infinitely many double loop trajectories and the set of their path length have no, has no upper bound. And also, we can find another pattern of de plane development <coughs> which contain double loop trajectories. And here is a, an example. After studying the looping of the trajectory, we are interested in finding their emitting angles. First of all, we can draw the corresponding plane development of a trajectory out by repeatedly reflection. For example, the one shown in the screen. We can easily measure the vertical distance and horizontal distance between the starting point and the ending point of the straight line on the plane development. Then we can find the emit emitting angle by arc tangent horizontal distance over vertical distance, which can be expressed as the formula in proposition 6.1. The trajectory can go back to the starting position if and only if its emitting angle can be expressed as this formula. We only investigate the cases which the trajectories start from the midpoint of one side of the pentagon before. Now, we use factors to extend the study to arbitrary starting position. We use factors to prove that if a trajectory is looping, then after some parallel translation, it is still looping. So the starting point will not affect whether the trajectory will loop. And here is an example. When the trajectory has some parallel translation, it will do the pain. In conclusion, we have found some trajectories which can go back to the starting position and their unique emitting angles. And we also proved that trajectory which can go back to the starting position are all looping, which are single loop or double loop. We also proved that there is infinitely many single loop and double loop trajectories.
at last by factors. We proved that looping properties is independent of the starting position of the trajectories. Thank you.